Hey yo, my name is Abel Gurman. I'm from Seattle, Washington, and you're watching So we ended college on a really high note. I had already graduated in 2014. Cedric had a really strong senior season um, leading into the NFL draft. And like I already had my job. He went down to Florida to train for his last semester to prepare for the draft. And so like we were just in a really good place both individually but also collectively in our relationship. So yeah, I guess I'll give a little background on kind of what happened with me. So I went into my senior year, like Charlotte said, I had a really good senior year. Uh, played really well, led the team in tackles and had a bunch of different stats and stuff. And I had agents looking at me and I signed with an agency where I went to go train in Florida at a place called ESP and Wide World of Sports where all the top NFL guys go. Tom Brady goes, Todd Gurley, like all the top players go there to train. And my agent paid for all that so I can be prepared to perform at the pro day because I didn't get invited to the NFL combine which I'm still like salty about and uh, you basically train there to get ready to perform uh, really well when the NFL scouts and teams come and watch you and for us uh, that was a really hard time because we were going through uh, another tough part of our relationship and this was a time where we were on the brinks of really like we uh, broke up yeah like we were on the brinks of really just going our separate ways because there almost was no said in charlotte yeah. and said by me maddie yeah this was the toughest time uh in our relationship and so uh, when i was in florida uh charlotte would come and visit when i was training and it was like like I didn't even know how to explain it. Like it was just, it was just really bad. Like she would come, we like wouldn't really like talk. It was more just we like we didn't really like each other. Yeah, we didn't really like each other at all. And we would try to go to the shit like me. We would like go to the beach to kind of like get our mind off of things, kind of reset. We'll have fun at the beach for a little bit, and then Charlotte flip a switch, and then like were yelling at each other. It was just really bad. Um, For me, like, I, in my head, our relationship was so good. And, like, in this time leading into, like, this whole new season of life for us, like, God really broke it all down. Mm -hmm. Like, shattered to the ground. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, a time for us both to, like, say, okay, like, there's been some bad stuff that's happened in our relationship and like you need to work on you and I need to work on me mm -hmm. to see if there's even a possibility of us in the future. And like as difficult as it was, we needed it in our relationship mm -hmm. and individually because it really started us on a whole new path. Mm -hmm. And I think like God was using it to like reveal to us like I'm using this trial mm -hmm. for triumph. If yeah. you like follow me, mm -hmm. I'm I'm leading you. Like mm -hmm. you thought you were in control for all these years, but like look I'm at where control. that got you. Yeah, yeah. And that um and we always tell each other like our hardest times, like the time in Italy when she went to Italy or this time, you know, leading into the NFL. Um, it was honestly what made our relationship um, so strong. Yeah, but, um, but like this specifically, like we both had to do a lot of soul searching mm -hmm. on our end. And like, I think this is where our strength and commitment came from because even when we were at our very, very worst, and even when like I really didn't like this dude, we were still like committed to working together to figure out the path forward um and we did i mean like come 
NFL draft day, we are in a much better place. Mm -hmm. So we go to California, we get a house in San Diego. All my family's there, all her family's there. And I ended up getting drafted to the Miami Dolphins in the fifth round, and it was just an amazing uh, feeling. With the 14th pick of the fifth round, number 150 overall, the Miami Dolphins select Cedric Thompson, safety from Minnesota. But he was a guy that can play in the box. He can play in space, as you can see right here. And, and any guy that can find the ball when it's thrown in the air, to me, that's, that's really going to add dividends. You want players with great ball skills. Cedric Thompson has really good ball skills. You know, certainly Jerry Kill, head coach of the university. I can't even put into words, like, accomplishing my dream that I've had for so long. And, like, so much, like, just, like, relief. Of stress. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's like that's not even talking draft weekend. So then we get into the NFL and yeah. and we were like we were in a better place, but not a great place. Yeah, not a great place. Because even like my rookie year, we still were going through things that were kind of in that era of like pro day or whatever. So and um, I move across this country. Like, yeah. This is a huge leap of faith for me because. I am a Minnesota girl, never really left Minnesota, like went to Italy for four months, but that was it. Like we weren't in like the perfect place, but if this is what we were heading toward, like if we were going to be together, then I needed to go and we needed to really work through all that stuff, unpack all that stuff. And we did it in a place where like we were both removed from our friends and family and we were going through very difficult times personally because he was going through like the day-to-day -day grind at his job and I was like feeling very alone in this new place with no friends and all I had was my dog and my job and like no real physical personal connection with anyone. God moving us across the country just with each other in a foreign place like really forced us to come together and seek him. So, uh, so yeah, so during my rookie year, um, we learned a lot about each other and a lot about God. Uh, this is where our faith really came into play. This is where we really got serious with our faith and understanding who God is, understanding who Jesus is and what he did for us. And this is where me and Charlotte started going to church together, started reading the Bible together and really understood that God was in the center of our relationship. It was the first time we went to church when we were in Florida. It was the first time really with anything, understanding each other from a faith standpoint. So it was a blessing in disguise to go through such a tough year, uh, my rookie year, and uh, it built our foundation for our faith and the way that we make decisions with uh, our daughter, with things around the house, and everything. Fort Lauderdale was like a huge turning point in our relationship. Like we had gone on the highs of college and then we had gone down to like the lowest of the lows and then God was like just building us up both individually but also our relationship like step by step um, throughout our time in Florida. Yeah so so my rookie year ends and it was it was a tough year. My rookie year was probably one of the hardest years of my life because the NFL wasn't exactly what I imagined uh, prior to going into it. It's a undescribable business and experience. But long story short, um, I didn't end up signing back. I didn't want to continue my career in Miami, so I didn't sign with Miami, and I ended up signing with the New England Patriots, and I absolutely loved my experience there being in New England. So basically we packed all our, our life up in Florida. I went back to Minnesota, said went out to New England, and um, we were in a much better place yeah. when we left than when we arrived. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now um, this is where I was planning something the entire time um, while I was in Miami, and it was honestly something that got me through my rookie year was planning for this event. And that's what we're going to talk about next. <laughs>